he came in on Tuesday or Wednesday and, and I'm like, I got something for you. And uh, so, yeah, he was very concerned. This is like, I think he likes that kind. That's like a pipe in your butt with a, with a fort. I don't know, but yeah. It's yeah. very scratchy and are not you, satisfying. Are you familiar with toilet paper math? It's very, it's like super tricky. Like one sheet equals 56 sheets or, or one roll equals two rolls. I, I don't, it's toilet paper math is tricky and it's yeah. And then the problem is is that when you live in an RV, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you have to have the special kind. So yeah, toilet paper math becomes yeah. very important. Yeah. I think we have two people available. Uh, I don't know if we're, we're gonna need to relocate the camera a little bit. I I'm scooching this way and you guys could scooch as well. Hey, you're scooching my chair with your chair. They're so bumping nubs. Yeah, they're it's butts to nuts. What uh, what are you have there, Dylan? Oh, I have some Odyssey Beer Works Ghost Drifter. I have the uh, cream in your pants sickle, the fluffy bunny. No, it's not gay. Is Chris still here? There yes. he is. Okay, yeah. So, <laughs> so yeah, it's cool that Chris brought us over. What's that? I, hey, dude. <laughs> it's not. It is cream in your pants sickle. Right. It's good. I like, I, yeah, I'm, I'm all for it. Are we about ready to go here? So not, somebody was asking me what is going on. Cause I was watching Ike at Flipside music, the great American guitar store. He and Dylan were doing their, what the FAQ uh, live 4 PM mountain time. And they're going to be doing in conjunction with something that you, up with uh that we're calling prime our slot that is to say the texas toast slot is 5 p.m mountain to 6 p.m mountain and then the dylan talks tone cameras start rolling at 6 p.m mountain your time slot's going to vary depending on where you live but i'm concerned i i i know for a fact that arvada is the cultural center of the universe and so that is as far as i'm concerned the, you know, Greenwich Mean Time, only it's Arvada Mean Time. I mean, so, yeah. when I go out in the street outside of Texas Toast Guitars, yeah. I just think, you know, this is the center of the community. Right? Yeah, a lot of people think it's Tulsa, Oklahoma, but it ain't. So, yeah. <laughs> so, all right. Is it time so we're to... buffering like hell. Can I get everybody that's not using their... Yeah, everybody who's uh, on my Wi-Fi. Yeah, see if we can... We're plugged up. in, so, we'll yeah. Back up. Are you guys got nothing? What 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 is Chris is doing something like this? Are we are we? Oh 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 okay. I mean I think we're plugged into the Wi-Fi right. So I mean yeah. we should be we should be bumping everybody off. Yeah. Yeah. So. All right. Yeah. I don't know. Well, you know what? We're just gonna go for it. Yeah. We have a two. We have a stuff that's way too important to worry about internet. <laughs> we're just gonna go for it, and, and we're gonna tell people, and yeah, we're gonna do yeah, the best we, might, we can. We might get better. So should get off on this thing. Yeah, why don't we yeah, well, why don't we not have that on and uh yeah, everyone I'll else turn watch. your Yeah, well, I mean you're you're here so you yeah. don't need to watch on the screen, right? Yeah. No, I was going to answer questions but or ask questions. Well, we've got I don't know that we're doing a Q&A today. I think we're we've just got doing a full program. We're just doing an A. I think right? So yeah. So yeah, we don't think we have to do okay. any of that stuff. So, All right, hopefully it gets better. So hopefully, hopefully our uh, our internet gets better, and uh, and we are. So before anybody asks, we are in fact hardwired into the router. So if you got a problem, take it up with Xfinity. We'll, we're we're going to do the best we can with what we got, and and if it continues, we'll take it up with Xfinity next time. So anyway, um, but yeah. So hey everybody, this is Matt. And we're at Texas Toast Guitars. We are in the middle of a Build a Classic Fender Wood, Sweat, and Beers workshop. And to my left, your right, is Dylan McCurchy from Dylan Talks Tone. And Steve, I'm going to mispronounce his last name anyway. McIlroy? Not even close. Matt, Steve M. from Maximum Guitar. Can, we, can you tell me one more time? Steve Mc, McKinley. Just one more time? Steve <laughs> Arino. Mac L. Henny. I was, I got the Mac part. Yeah, right. we're good. This is Mac. how I got him in my phone. 
Steve. Yeah, that's what I have Steve, him done too. Steve yeah. Maximum. I have I Maximum I my name. Steve. Yeah. I changed my name to Maximum. Steve Max. McElhenney. Mac. Mac. L. Henny. Steve McEl Henny. Well, that's what I said. So <laughs> yeah. So uh, to my right, your left, Steve McEl Henny from Maximum Guitar Works. It's a lot. I will forget before the next time. It's okay. So to my right, Dylan and Steve. Hey, Dylan and Steve, thanks for joining me on my segment of Primetime Guitar. It's awesome. This is the inaugural. That's right. So now we have a bunch of things that are in place. So if you want to get in on that action, um, I think you just kind of do it, right? Um, you can glom on to it. But Thursdays are going to be guitar days. And you know when we're doing it. You know when Ike's doing it. You know when Dylan's doing it. We asked Steve if he was down to do it, and it's not like Steve didn't want to do it, but you've got some, you're kind of, I'm bandwidth limited. Yeah, at, yeah, at, my factory. at the factory, yeah. <laughs> so, so, so Steve is, um, uh, is in Elizabeth, Colorado, and rural. where, what's that? It's rural. It's, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of like on a farm, kind of. I mean, it's not a farm, but it's not unlike it's a, a farm. It's a guitar farm. Yeah. So, so it is not going to be unheard of for you to see Steve uh, on one of these things, but it's not going to be every single week you can tune in and talk to Steve. So, yeah, right. I mean, this is special. We only, don't only when I'm invited. Well, you're invited every time, but but so so until we change that, or until Steve gets a Better big tower it. or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So if you want to get in on that, I think you just kind of do it. It's not like something that we have to like say, okay, now you can do it. it we don't have that kind of juice. We don't control the internet. We don't the control YouTube. the tubes. Yeah. Mm -mm. Um, but we have a bunch of exciting stuff to tell you about, and it concerns Steve from Maximum Guitar Works and Dylan. And and in some ways it concerns me. We've got a bunch of bunch of stuff to talk about. But before we get all the way on board. Thanks to Ike and Dylan, the other Dylan mm -hmm. from Flipside Music, the great American guitar store. Those guys uh, are were, were live for the last hour. And an hour goes fast. You're like, oh, man, I don't know if we can do an hour, but an hour goes quick. So uh, so if you didn't watch Flipside Music, the great American guitar store's live stream for primetime guitar, please remember, mark your calendars every Thursday. They're going to be doing it. They've got like question and answer gear demos. They're going to have like pedals and guitars and stuff like that. And I think they're just kind of like trying to feel out what you guys want. So tell them what you want. I bet you they'll be able to accommodate you and yeah, say, Hey, they have, they have a whole guitar store at their disposal. Yeah. To like do all kinds of cool stuff. Yeah. So yeah. tell them, Hey, we want to, we want to hear this thing or, or whatever it is. And, and I'm sure they will be, they will be more than accommodating and, and get you guys sorted out. So, uh, yeah, so that's very cool. Yeah. Um, so are we still buffering and doing weird freezy uppy things or? I don't know. If you know why. Okay. Um, so, yeah. So I think no one, no one's saying anything. So uh, it's probably fine. Yeah. I think we're just going to, we're going to keep going. For it. Okay, cool. Um, so uh, today we have special guests. Mm -hmm. We have a special announcements mm -hmm. and we have, I have this old guitar and it is fortuitous that you are here, Steve, because I have this old guitar is kind of something we want you to see. It's <laughs> kind of up your alley. Yeah. Uh oh. Yes. I'm not sure how to take that. No, oh, it's, it's no. really cool. Yeah. You're going to like it. Okay. So it is very maximum. So okay. uh, I have this old guitar is something we've been doing for a while. And we just kind of, we want to have it in our hot little hands and show off this neat guitar. Or maybe it's a plain guitar or maybe it's a vintage guitar or maybe it's something that there's one of or, or something. So, um, uh, so we have one that I think you're really going to dig, Steve, okay. and it's in a case, right? It's right over here. Yep. Okay, okay yep. cool. Yep. All right. So, um, but why don't we talk a little bit about uh, some of the cool stuff that Steve's got going and some of the cool stuff Steve's got going for us. And, um, and we'll, we'll just, we'll just go from there. So Dylan, you've been here all month long. Yep. And when you came out, you're like, I should build a guitar while I'm here. Yeah. And I, I wanted to. And of course, it was so fun doing all these other things. And it was busy that I feel like it's some kind of reality show. And we're coming down to two days left and we're like scrambling to do a thing. Yeah. But uh, it, it turned into not just build a guitar, 
But what if the guitar that I wanted to build, what if other people wanted to build it? Mm -hmm. What if you wanted to offer another class that included pickup winding? But what if people didn't have to stay all week and all and weekend? A weekend? Yeah. Because that's expensive and hard to do. Yeah. Being away from your family and stuff. So what if we were able to take a very cool guitar? I think it's cool. It's wicked awesome. Uh, let you build it. Wind all the pickups. And Friday afternoon in five days, have a class where you could you could do all those things. It's done. So it's basically your guitar. Mm -hmm. It's the Dylan design. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, Steve from Maximum Guitar Works made all the templates. Yep. So you and then and then it, we're going to host it here at Texas Toast Guitar. So the three of us are doing this in conjunction with each other. Mm -hmm. And we've got the Steve's doing more than. than yeah, we've than, got some uh, yeah. cool things to do. So. So the idea is there are dates on the website already. As of right now, there are two classes available right now. Link in the description below. You can sign up right now. And if your name is Chris Hendricks, now's where you now's where you go. Now, if right. Doug, Doug, if you are watching. I said, wait before you sign up because you're going to, you you're might want to see this. this neat thing before you do. So if you want to switch that thing that you just signed up for to September this year, you can. If you want to wait and catch it uh, in 2023, we have one, one class in 2023. Yep. So right now we have a September 2022 and a March 2023. Correct. <laughs> and so we've got Dylan's, uh, you're calling it the... So this is one of my designs from Dylan Custom Guitars a few years ago when okay. we were making a bunch of stuff uh, called the Batfish. And I think the Fat Bitch is a horrible name. You know? Oh, the Bat yeah, Fish. The bad fish. <laughs> so, oh, disregard. On, okay. On the website, I think you said it takes all of the cool things from a Fender guitar a Les Paul and a PRS. Fender, Gibson, and PRS, all of the good yeah. stuff. So it was one of those things where I am one to be, shall we say, sort of irreverent to guitar tradition. Mm -hmm. I just have that habit. And so this right here is the one. So this is the this is this sort is of the prototype, the prototype of what we're working of with. Now working nothing's with. attached. Yeah, so the, that's I'm why. being careful to not dump it all on the floor. Um, but this is a Stephen Maximum Guitars made the template. So it's basically like a Les Paul Jr. body, a little bit revision of shape so that uh, we don't have to sell a pen with it. And um, yeah. and then we also have uh, the PRS scoop from my favorite Strat, not Strat, Silver Sky. Uh -huh. And then, of course, it's a 25 and a half inch scale because I'm a Fender kind of guy. So 25 and a half inch scale. Um, there are a couple of options. Well, there's really one option. Uh, there's a couple options. You can obviously do the durable thin finish is coming on this guitar. Yeah. So, so a couple, hold on, let me, let me, let me yeah. back you up a little Go bit. Ahead. Uh, there's, there's some things that are going to differentiate this from our standard build a classic tele instrument. It's got, it's loaded with upgrades. So like they're going to be one piece swamp ash body blanks Correct. not two not three but one piece body blanks the bridge this is a clues on because we just got this real quick for the pictures mm -hmm. um but it will be hip shot hardware it will be cts pots it will be orange drop caps um steve from maximum guitars gucci gucci knobs gucci knobs that's right it's gucci um, time you will wind your own P90. You will uh, P90. You will wind your own Tele Bridge pickup. Um, so that's cool. You get to wind two different pickups when yeah, you come out. Yeah, exactly. Um, one option available is if you wanted two P90s in here instead of one, you could do that. And it'll come. Then it'll come with the hip shot stop tail bridge. Correct. My preference is that you do it this way because I think it is the most irreverent way to build this guitar. And one of the things that's a little bit different from the normal um, build a classic Fender kind of classes that he normally does, where you provide your own hardware, 
is this is a turnkey situation. Yeah, you just walk in the door and everything's waiting for you. Yeah, all the hardware is here. All the knobs are here. All the everything is here. You don't have to bring anything with you. Um, you can pick any color you want as long as it's black, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, we've made a template for the pick guard. We've you could go without a pick guard. Well, no, you can't. You have to have a pick guard. Um, you can, uh, you know, have the pick guard if you want. The um, yes, and this is all so top so stuff. so. So the reason Dylan's saying you can go without the or you shouldn't go without the pickguard is because come off of here, pickguard. There is an wiring race that we added. Now, you don't have to put that on because when you show up, you're going to have a one piece body blank from Dan and Calvin at Tonewood mm -hmm. Guitar Tonewood Experts. Thank you. OK, yeah. And you can choose you can choose this to, to go in there or not. I like it because I don't like to have a hole from the neck to the to the neck pickup, to the bridge pickup, and then to the control cavity. So I like to put that in there. However, you could go without that if you want and go with no sure. guard. You could also knock this back to that durable thin finish, satin finish, mm -hmm. if you wanted, or somewhere in between. I just personally liked it this way, so we left it this way because this is going to kind of be my demo guitar. Now, let me, let me add something else. Chris and I were talking. What we think should happen is this should be a slight upgrade from the regular durable thin finish. Yes. So it'll actually have a satin paint, a, a satin clear on top of the durable thin. Yes, right. Chris? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we could make this, and this guitar will actually become that. So you, yeah, yeah, so you'll get to paint, you'll get to make the body, paint the body, um, wind the pickups, wire all the stuff, and then it oh, gets better. Yeah, because I want to point out one little feature to this body that you may not be able to see in the video. But see this little notch right here? That's where one of those Gucci truss rod pins goes. Yep. So do you want to move over to the what the neck? Let's show off. Let's show off the neck. Now we're making some adjustments as we go. So you're, you hold grab the other neck. That's, I'm gonna hold this one. That's the yeah. So right now, Steve from Maximum Guitar Works is building the necks for us. And Dylan is holding the um the original prototype neck, which is which is done. Mm -hmm. And I'm holding the uh, the the cutaway model. Mm -hmm. So, um, Steve, we we wanted you to make the next for this because you have the facility to do it, and you have one of the you have a lot of like super cool features on next. Can you walk us through some of these? Yeah, sure. So, you want a, a visual aid or? Um, no, you can you can point. You All can right. be my Vanna White. All right. Um, <laughs> So what we're putting is carbon fiber in these for just more rigid neck. Um, that's kind of a foundational thing of it. We're obviously upgrading the wood choices or making other choices available at a kind of a higher end. Correct me if I'm wrong. You guys have made some command decisions while I was off drinking. Mm -hmm. um, that I think is, so. That's the way it works, I believe. That's the way it goes. So, <laughs> this, so the prototypes are done in walnut. And and we thought, well, walnut looks cool. Let's try that. But But since I was away... The mice will play. No, no. Uh, since you guys made a really cool upgrade, so what? What are they going to be? I think they're going to be roasted maple with wenge fretboards. So that's cool. So the backs, the the necks. Whose phone is doing that? Shut that shit off. So the backs of the necks, the the neck meat will be uh, roasted maple. Correct. And the fretboards will be wenge. Right. Um. And uh, but but. Everything else will be the same. The uh, carbon fiber truss rods. Yep. I'm sorry. The carbon fiber stiffening rods. The Gucci truss rod. What? What's the? Yeah. What's so, the caper with so that? So this is a U.S. made stainless steel uh, spoke wheel truss rod that is to me is is the best of this type of truss rod out there, and and it's designed obviously uh, to fully support and for that spoke wheel to be exposed. People have, have often asked me to do the spoke wheel, and I'm like, eh, I don't, I don't. Getting one is tricky, and, and I've got a handful yeah. of lines on it, but this one, this one's super nice. And and you'll notice the the brass tone pins here. Yes. Okay, that's really the secret to to it. So these these next, well, I have to use, I have yeah, to hold just, my mouth right. You just gotta line it up. Mm -hmm. There you go. All right, and it just clicks right in. So when you come out to this this workshop, the neck will be. A lot like the one that Dylan's holding with the Lumile side yeah, dots. Lumile side dots, which we haven't talked about. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, 
Blind fret slots. Blind uh, fret totally slots. Totally forgot to mention Gucci, yeah. Gucci stuff. Yeah. This is not – this is a proper boutique guitar when yeah. it's done. Mm-hmm. And I, I think I'm going to go with the hot dog fret ends too. You'll yeah. get you'll get to undercut the fret slots and do the hot dog fret ends. Yeah, we, sure. we're we looking at the grinder thing to be able to do that properly hemisphere. Other people call it the hemispherical fret end. It's hot dog fret yeah, ends. It's hot dog it's fret hot dogs. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. And – because Steve at Maximum Guitars is making these necks, uh, he has lasered his logo right here in the heel. Mm-hmm. Uh, I believe these necks, uh, we're still working on the details of this, but I believe these necks will also be serialized. Oh, so, cool. And they will be 100% unique to you. So when you sign up for the guitar and you pay for this class, uh, we're working on a way to individualize this neck to you. And so that being said, you so know, like so like right now it says designed by Dylan. Could we fit more stuff on there? Uh, either that or we could put. And the, the other thing we're we're talking about doing is is doing some kind of so. You don't want the four hundredth one of these. No, you want the first. At this point, 10, 10 or fourteen. Yeah. So you we've got we've first. got we've got twelve spots open right now, unless yeah. people mm-hmm. have already bought them. But but right now, as of as of. Today, we have 12 spots available, so you could get one of the first 12. The Wood, Sweat, and Beers uh, logo, which is Matt's class brand, will be on the front of the peg head, and then mine is on the back. So this is – I'm really excited about this. It's really cool. excited about it. And the stepped tuner holes. Oh, oh yeah. that's right. we got to point those No out. expense was spared on no, that. Yeah. Stepped tuner holes for the hip shot staggered – Locking tuners mm-hmm. yep. that we are going to put on these things. Pre-drilled. Uh, pre-drilled. This stuff is – so should we talk – you should. Yeah, well, well, Steve, will you hand me one of those other necks? Sure. So we like these necks so much that Chris and I have decided we're going to go with – this is this is obviously one that we did for for the Dylan guitar because it even it still says Dylan on it. Chris and I have decided, though, that we want a neck with um, – this is Dylan's headstock, so we can't use that. Well, we want a wood, sweat, and beers thing. So if you've signed up for, say, the um, – we, we have a workshop coming up in November, and it's a fabric top workshop with a pickup winding component. And we're like, guys, in order to do that, we have to have necks made. So Steve is going to be making those necks for us, and this is one. Um, it actually came to us. It had it had some work that needed to be done, but it was mostly done. It was straight off the CNC, basically, and, machining the contours. Yeah, and we gave this to Sand and Brandon, mm-hmm. uh, and and he he just did the the final sanding, and it's ready to go. So um, so this is the neck that you'll be getting if you come to one of our classes that has uh, a neck. I don't want to do. I don't want to use anyone else's neck. I don't want to use Mighty Might necks anymore. I don't want to use. Um, I don't want to use Warmoth or USA Customs because I believe in Steve's products. I believe in Maximum Guitar Works, and um, uh, and and frankly, having Steve be so close. So as long as Steve wants to do it, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy next from Steve. So in general, outside of even the stuff that you and I are doing together, mm-hmm. the woods, but the wood sweat and beers workshops have yeah. taken a major upgrade turn. This week. they 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 really have. So, so one of the things that we've decided we want to do is all of our build a classic tele classes, just for the sake of conversation, all of the classes that are not woodworking only, um, they're going to have a neck from, from Maximum Guitar Works and they're going to have a pickup winding component. Yep. Which so, means I'm going to be flying out here as much as you buy these classes. Yeah. So yeah. if you want to wind your own pickups, I mean, the sky's going to be the limit at the, this point. Like Leslie and I have already talked about it, looked at our schedule for all of 2023. Um, yes, at the beginning of the year, the only one scheduled right now. But as those fill up. So actually, we have we have September is available yep. for the Batfish guitar. Yep. November is is a, is well, it's sold, sold out. out. Uh, we have a March and I want to say we have an, a, another one scheduled. Yeah. But I but I don't know. So. Yeah, so if this is something that you want to do, I think I think adding the pickup winding thing to what you're already doing is just next level. And then taking Steve's necks mm-hmm. and putting them into this makes it even just 
they're, you're getting a boutique product and you get I to mean, you still get to do like the the frets and the and the hemispherical fret ends and you get the gucci neck and yeah it's 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 going to be you're going to have an heirloom instrument there are people in the comments probably i can't see well let's see I, yeah online, i don't have my danger glasses uh, on. that are saying but i wanted to make a neck yeah from scratch what about those folks that want charles to wallace says if someone doesn't drink could you leave the beer well no Donald Fisher asked, Steve, can you make a neck through? Okay, we're getting to that. We're getting to what Steve is going to offer to everybody else. But yeah. Yes. Um, so, but what about, because I know there's people that are going to wonder, yeah, but I wanted to come there and make a neck. Okay. You have a class for that. Right? We have, we have, we have a bunch of classes for that. You can come okay. and, and, and you can, you start with just a bunch of chunks of wood and you can put the truss rod in. You can use all the pin router stuff. You can do everything the old school way like we do for our challengers. We have a set neck one and we have a bolt on neck one. And so, yeah. So this month of May, me coming out here and this whole experiment, uh, basically it was an experiment. Yeah. And the focus group has said that um, they would rather make pickups than yep. sand on a neck for nine hours. Yep. Yep. And so, yeah, that's, Frankly, well, there's there's still plenty of neck shaping to do when it comes. <laughs> yeah. To... yeah, I'd really like to. Uh, um, uh, we can still use the deadhead sander too. So if yeah. if and we're we're you know we're kind of we're playing with it. We stuff. could see if you could make this ten thousandths more, and you we could remove a bunch of material yeah, on I mean, the deadhead sander. It's a it's a pretty substantial feel. Mm -hmm. It's it's not a thin neck by any any stretch. Yeah, um, but certainly I could leave as much material there as as needed. Uh, but I think you'll find there's enough to shave off to kind of customize and but still not change the continuity of of the taper and things like yeah. that. If you kind of just gently remove that little bit. Yep. So folks could still come here and be like, mm, I want to change the profile a little bit, measure it with calipers. Yeah. You could set up the deadhead sander so they wouldn't ruin it. And you could come over there and make some sure. little revisions and sure. still do those things. Why not? Yeah. Yeah. So that's not gone. It's just a little different. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So so the. Let's address the elephant in the room. Steve, will you be offering these in the future to other people besides Dylan and myself? Um, only really cool people that like nice things. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, this this is not this these these are not going to be at the price point to compete with a craptastic Amazon neck. Yeah. No. So it, here's here's the thing. I mean, uh. uh we have total capability of total guitar production and things like that. And, and there's certain things that I'm kind of moving into slowly because time is always the, the enemy. Yeah. Uh, but the time that I invested in setting up all my uh, vacuum hold down fixtures and jigs and things that I need to, to <laughs> properly do this on my machinery um, was time well invested. And now I have efficiency. So therefore uh, Mike and I, who Mike is doing all my website stuff and, yep. and we collaborate on a lot of things. Mike and I are talking about how do we introduce this so people that want to get into guitar building, okay, yep. and, and maybe we can streamline the process. So template. you could use this with the, the fit all or the or the tele template we or the use yeah. this in conjunction with our template systems and it would be designed to be a perfect match for that. Let me let me let me add something here. Chris and I are getting out of the neck building business. Yeah, that's right, man. Four <laughs> classes. No, but, well, we're we're not making we're not making bolt on necks for anybody. We're doing oh. challenger neck. We'll we'll be happy to build you complete guitars. Gotcha. But we're not making necks to sell. I wanted you to be clear about that because people are like, oh, they're not going to make their own necks for their own guitars anymore. <laughs> no. Yeah. Just yeah. Stop. Just it. stop. Yeah. So yeah. So we'll still be making all of our guitars the same way that we've always done them. Mm -hmm. But we offered that that um that sort of that that what is it. Project what was it neck. called? The project neck. And I'm like, Steve, you should just start making these. He's like, and you said, well, I don't want to do that. You're doing it. No, we're not. You do it. Do it. Go. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. Steve, you have the way more capability than we do. So yeah. yeah. And and now the hard work is done. So I'll be able to in the near future <laughs> offer these with maybe limited parameters to start with and then and then maybe grow the different radius options and stuff like that in the future. Sure, sure. But as so, okay, so how about this? Rather than have people ask, hey, can you make me a, what do you think the first thing that's going to be available is? Well, I think the first thing, um, and Woods, we're trying to figure out what we're going to 
because I'm going to limit it so I don't have to inventory too many different species of wood. Mm -hmm. But we're we're going to you know at least have um, maple and and roasted maple in in there. Okay. And then we'll have a couple different fretboard choices, like we talked about earlier. My go-to is is Wenge on the fretboard. I think that is the best fretboard going right now. Okay. Um, and I and, love it. I think it's cool. And we'll have some other other woods available and. The headstock will be a paddle head. So you could so you could shape it to it. So you'll get a premium neck with a paddle head, which is that's that's a rarity. So we were clicking around on the internet the other day trying to find mm -hmm. um blind fret slots in a premium product, you know, premium woods, mm -hmm. nice truss rod, all that stuff. You can't get that. Yeah, I, I, I'm, just sure, I, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure. Some someone with a paddle head. You hear you hear that mm -hmm. typing? That's like, oh, I know a guy. No, you don't. That not that has uh, carbon fiber rods as an option. Yeah, I mean, a Gucci truss rod, blind fret slots. Maybe one day, but but nobody does right now except you, yeah. Steve. And then you know, in that way, they'll give them flexibility to kind of shape it and create what they want. Or for the people that are going to produce more than one, for kind of an upcharge, we'll we'll offer a custom headstock shape of their design that they send to me. So uh, as soon as, so like, so Dylan has his headstock design. You, you did that. When Chris and I come up with the one for the wood, sweat and beers thing, which somebody doesn't drink beer. Fine. Yeah. Um, you don't have to drink beer, but that's what it says. So that's, yeah. that's what we called it. Sorry if you don't like it. Yeah. And I'm not, I'm not going to produce, um, you know, copy protected heads, no. headstocks. No, right? I'm not, I'm not going to do the telly. I'm not going to do the strat. Uh, I do it in the templates, but I think you can get away with it there um, for, for doing that. Yeah, people can make whatever they want for themselves. Exactly. So, yeah. um, but if they come up with their own design, um, it, it's it's theirs. Um, Steve, one of the, the, the final frontiers for headstock designs seems to be like a step, like mm -hmm. a lower portion. Is that something that, that you could do too? Yeah. Like if I said, hey, Steve, I want this headstock. Could you Could you make that for me if I came up with it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, cool. I mean, I mean that's that's easy two D drawing uh, adjustments. So okay, um, there's a little bit of time invested, but not significant to add that feature to an existing shape. And these are all square heel now, strat heel, no sweat, strat heel and telly type, yeah. square heel. Yeah. Okay, um, both of those will, will will be part of the option menu when we get this up on the website. Cool, cool, awesome. And and Mike's probably working right now. <sighs> I got to get this up. I got to get this up. I got to get this <laughs> He's up. He's probably watching this like, uh oh, here's my list of work to do next. Yeah. Well, and, I, and and guys, don't flood Steve and Mike with emails asking, hey, can you make? I mean, because that, that slows you down a little bit, right? Uh, yeah. I mean, to a degree. I mean, we, we want to have so So let me, let me, let me but... answer your question right now. Hey, Steve, can you do it? Yeah, Steve can. But right now, what you're what you're what you're working on are these. Yes. L limited wood choices, limited radius. Probably 10 and 12 to start. Okay. Um, we'll add more as time goes on. The two different types of heel in a paddle neck with custom options mm -hmm. with their own headstock design. And if someone Ooh. has more money than they know what to do with, you like those kinds of customers too. I, I okay. actually have a gentleman that just communicated last night with me about making three necks for him with scallop fretboards. So... He's basically going to fund the engineering to get okay. to get all that design. Okay, cool, excellent. And if somebody wants thirty of them, call Steve. Because he or if someone wants to pay for thirty of them and only get one, call Steve. Yeah, I mean, I'm, really, I'm okay yeah. either way. Either either way, <laughs> really, yeah. Cool. So, but 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 it does it does take time, and as everybody knows, time is money to do the engineering and get these to where Steve can put them in, lock them in the machine and have them go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we're going to offer them just like you did here. So we're going to leave the frets for, you know, the individual user to do. Maybe at some point we'll offer that service as an add on. Mm -hmm. um, and we're, we're probably going to, I don't know, we could probably do it either way. I have to talk to Mike to see if we do it just machine grade so they can do all the final sanding okay. or fully sanded and ready to install frets. I think it's cool. Um, because it's hard to find someone who will leave, who will omit things. Omitting frets is kind of a deal for me because I like to press in frets. I like to have <coughs> workshops where guys get to do their own frets. Mm -hmm. um, I like to have, I like to omit the, the holes in the 
the heel. Same. So you can put them, you can put four, you can put three, or you can stack where, wherever they go. Oh, sure. Um, I like the option of omitting the final sanding so that guys can do that. I think that's cool. It makes it less, it, it makes it more their own, their own thing. It can oh. personalize it because really the interaction with the, with the guitar player is here. Yep. Right. Yep. And, and I tell uh, guys in my class, I said, don't solely just look at a neck, feel the neck. Has oh. anyone here heard me say that this week? Constantly be feeling that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you can even close your eyes and feel. You Has anyone to, heard me say that? If you want to feel if that contour is right from the fretboard to the edge, you feel it. You yep. don't visually try to look for it. Yeah. So that's how you customize a neck to your personal taste. You'll know when it's right. Yep. Awesome. Yep. Yeah. You guys know what a guitar neck should feel like. And so, yeah. Cool. So, all right. Excellent. Let's let's take a couple here. Uh, um, <laughs> reverse headstock. Um, it, it'll take a little bit more CAD work, but not significant. So was that you? What? Who asked reverse headstock? Me? Yeah, you're waving. Why would I ask for reverse? Headstock? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I was just saying, hey. Oh, okay. I thought you were looking at me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Back to work. So it's I, doable. It's it's definitely doable, and without too much work, I, I could get there. And the other thing that I was asked for, and I could probably do very easily, is a a three by three paddle head. Okay. So now that one won't have the tuner holes in it because depending upon your shape, you, you can't figure that out ahead of time. Right now, Dylan, do you have any base necks in your hands? No. Okay. Someone wants to know, Steve, can you do a base neck? Are these questions kind of come at like. Fast and furious. Can you do this one thing that I want? What I would say so, is just keep watching this space and Steve's website, and yeah. you will see things show up. Now, it is my understanding, Steve, that you have a base <laughs> template set coming soon. So it's it's nearing the top of my custom list. Um, it's probably the second custom full project down. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm seriously did – I, did I mention I now got some help? Yes, you did, but not, but to me, not to everybody yeah. else. So, yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, I, I'm not going to get wrapped up in it, but I've got a nephew now that is, is now going to be an employee of mine, a 20 year old nephew that is going to start learning some of the basic stuff, the lasering mm -hmm. and maybe some sanding operations, maybe some sweeping the floors. That's so. What's he going to start with, lasering or floor sweeping? <laughs> Whatever. I've been to Steve's shop twice, and there's, there's never nothing been on anything the floor. On the yeah, floor to sweep, so <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. All right, but but that is going to free up a little bit more time to get caught up on a lot of these custom requests I've had because really they've been stacking on me, mm -hmm. and and get caught up, and then ahead, and once I can get caught up, I can start adding some of this other features and such that people may may want. Yeah. Well, Good. based on what I'm reading in the comments, Steve, there's no end to the things that people want. So let's hope that there's no end to the amount of money in their bank account. Well, and, and the other thing is definitely mention it. Mention it in the comments, you know, shoot us an email or something, you know, just say, hey, this is what I'd like. Because the more I hear common things, yeah, it, it moves higher in my to-do list. So, yeah. So eventually you might want to do a three by three headstock. But so let me ask you this, Steve. What's the best way? Here are the options. Call, email, write it on a hundred dollar bill, and and then send it to you. Ooh, that last option is that's a, that's. If you have any questions for for Steve, I'm gonna just say right now, write them down on a cool hundy and mail them in. Yeah, and I would also say Dylan that, too. That one person asking a hundred times is not the same as a hundred people asking one time. Yeah, if there's a hundred people asking for something, that. it's gonna get bumped up to the top of the list. Yeah, sure. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. So why don't we take a look at I have this old guitar? Yeah. Can we because do I think out? that Steve is going to uh be Oh, Paul Key is here. Ooh. Is it And he has he has a, he has an Jack? absurd question, I'm sure. Can you do a template for a headstock in the shape of a Colorado and a delicious croissant? <laughs> since since Paul paid five dollars to ask that question, I feel obligated to ask. I, plus, I plus Paul is one of my favorite people in the entire world. Yeah, I favor the cronut. Okay, cool. All right, all right. Chris, Chris okay. can we swap? So out? no, I, I can we swap this out for the the, the guitar in the case? See right over there. Yeah, sure. Here, thank you. 
<laughs> so, um, so yeah, guys, like I said, don't flood Steve with a buttload of like jerk off questions about stuff you're never going to buy. But if it's something that you really want, yeah, you know, and keep can, it in my, yeah, I can help him with it. He, we really enjoy the personal aspect of this and we try to maintain yeah. that. Obviously it gets demanding when I get more requests. And I want you to know, Paul, that when I say jerk off questions, I'm talking to you specifically. <laughs> I, uh, I, well, I think I made Steve uncomfortable just a little bit, but yeah, he, no, he knew I was coming up. All right. All so right. it's time for, I have this old guitar. Oh, whoa. Which what is not actually yeah. old in the world is this uh, Dylan. So this is a really interesting guitar made by, you know what? If you, if you're a totally boring person, you say things like it's interesting. No, that's, I say interesting. No, I know, but, but boring people say, mm, that's interesting. Okay. never mind. Yeah. <laughs> so Pet this, peeve. this is, <laughs> This is a Somnium Guitars from Northern Florida. <laughs> and uh, this is what we've been using for all of the pickup winding classes so that they don't have to wait to test their pickups and hear their, them for the first time. We're going to get into how we do that in just a second. But it's an alder body. Go ahead. No, no, I'm just, I'm just going. Oh, it's an alder body. It's all hip shot hardware. Um, these guys, so the guy that owns this company, his name is Mark. He makes windshields and stuff for like, um, like motorcycles and stuff like that. And like the ones you like grip and like you can raise and lower your mm -hmm. windshield, like all those mechanical things. Um, so he has a machine shop. His brain is machine mm -hmm. stuff, um, CNC machines, laser cutters, the whole. This is why I thought you would really enjoy this. Um, but he was like, I'm going to make a guitar. Uh, so we have hip shot hardware, we have stainless frets, we have a really nice neck, um, but the magic, here's where it gets cool, is this. Mm -hmm. Take a look at that. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. How over-engineered and cool is that? So basically, what we can do here is we can pull this out, and here is the pickup. Now I have, he gave me... I don't know, four or five or something different cartridges. So let's say a student this week wanted to make a tele pickup and test it right away or a humbucker or a P90 or a Strat pickup. Let me ask you this. I can't help but notice you have a active EMG 81 and one of your tele humba or tele uh, bridge pickups in that guitar. Well, how does that work? I'll show you how that works. Okay. Around here on the back is a nine volt battery. Here's the little push pins where everything kind of mm -hmm. mates up with the guitar. And he has the wiring set up in here where no matter where you put this pickup, if you'll recall, this was in the neck position. Now we can put this in the bridge position and there it is. And we can run passive pickups and active pickups in mm -hmm. the same guitar at the same time. So it senses or it's using different pins. It's something. using different, see how there's, yep. there's eight across there. Yep. And so, the wires that you hook up to this little wire terminal, mm -hmm. there, you get a little piece of paper with it that tells you how to hook it up and all that kind of stuff. Wow. This is a thing you can't do with a normal guitar. Let's just chuck a Tele bridge pickup in the neck position. That's crazy. Why not? I, I, I'm down, yeah. You know? Um, the cool part about it is, uh, now he has somebody manufacture his next, uh, somebody that I know is, makes really nice stuff, really cool dude. Mm -hmm. um, Every other piece of this guitar, every little piece of That's aluminum, amazing. every little, all the covers, the body, the everything is made in-house there at, at Somnium Guitars in Florida. Mm -hmm. um, this is a really cool thing. So how does, how does it, can, can we show on the camera how the sure. sweet, no, on the camera. Oh, oh yeah. Can we flip it around so you guys can, you can show oh, how so the, the back. Yeah, sure. yeah, 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 yeah. So basically there's, there's cartridges back here. And you Spring pinch these, pins. yep, and it comes out just like that. And you can order different cartridges for different pickups. Um, apparently, a lot of studio people use this thing because mm -hmm. they'll take four or five cartridges and a guitar to a studio and do like a bunch of bunch of work. Um, That's pretty slick. Yeah, I'm using it for some kind of some wacky. Well, I haven't gotten to yet because we haven't had time. But um, first of all, it's been a indispensable tool for having six guys on a Saturday uh, say, hey, I want to try my pickups. And it takes about five or ten minutes to swap it out. And 
we don't have to solder anything, take the strings off the guitar, none of that stuff. And we can swap them out and everybody can play their pickups. So this has been really cool. And this is going to be continue to be uh, a tool for these, these class settings. I, I really like the other thing I want to use it for is a bunch of weird video, fun videos on my channel. For example, let's just say we had, I don't have it here, but people always want to know what's a telly sound like, how much, does having a neck pickup in there <laughs> matter versus not? Oh having yeah, okay. The magnets are going to pull on the strings, and it's going to change. We can test that hmm. fairly easily mm -hmm. because we don't even have to unplug the guitar, stop record on the camera, nothing. It doesn't pop and crack when you take it. Like you can just take pickups out and put it back. Yeah, it just works. Yeah, yeah. This is this is so. My Dan Armstrong uh, had that back in the in the '60s. So my my old Dan Armstrong has that, but it's. This is way more sophisticated than, yeah. than Dan. And Dan did a great job. Dan, Mr. Armstrong did a great job with, with that guitar. Yeah. But this is, this is uh, some next level kind of stuff here. Yeah. So anyway, it's in every piece is anodized in house. Every piece is, I mean, this is just a neat, neat thing. I, when they called me and said, Hey, do you want to try one of these for your channel? We think it would be a good tool. Um, I was like, sign me up. Well, let me tell you. You've probably gone to NAMM shows and seen wacky attempts at this sort of thing in the past. Mm -hmm. I I know exactly what you're talking. You do, you do too, huh, Chris? I can see. I, I mean, yeah. there's been. Yeah. There's yeah. magnets and shit that pops together. Yeah. And, yeah. and so when I, I saw this and I literally walked right past it because mm -hmm. I'm like, those things are so stupid. And Leslie walks over and she's like, did you see that thing with the switchy pickups? And I was like, yeah, those things are dumb. And she's like, no, you should probably go take another look. <laughs> yeah. And I did. And I was like, wow, this thing's really cool. Of course, I didn't, you know, I don't ask for free stuff or ask for, you know, anything. But um, he called me a couple months later and was like, let's work together on some stuff. So, so I can tell you really how they did, how they burned this. And how they made this guitar body and how they made this well, neck. This is but a TikTok challenge. I saw somebody yeah. die from it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, but but so I can tell you how they made the guitar parts. But Steve, can you walk us through how they might have made this this uh, this switcho changeo thing as as an engineer as a CNC guy? Well, the engineering is phenomenal. I mean, seriously, the quality of the pins, like stainless steel pins, and the bracket. Mm -hmm. See, I wouldn't even thought of that. Like the pins or that. Yeah. You know, and, and the spring loaded, the spring is like perfect. Yeah, it's just like firm, yep, but not so hard. And then there's these there's these bushings in let's here. See, let's show, show can we show yeah, can let's we show, see if that I can show it? Yeah. There's bushings in here. I yeah. don't know if you can see them. Right. Here, get let's get it here. It. There you go. There you go. So when okay. It snaps in, it's positive. Yeah, and it doesn't wear because yep. if you did stainless against aluminum, you'd wear it out. Like mm -hmm. yeah. He thought of everything. He showed me some of the earlier evolutions. I went to his shop in Florida. He showed me some of the earlier evolutions. He's put years yeah, into this. I, I mean, you can I mean, tell. It's, you can tell there's, there's yeah. love in this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You for know? sure. I mean, hours yeah. and hours of, of time probably. And on top of this. that, it's a good guitar. Yeah. Like, it's a good guitar. It's an alder body guitar with a really nice neck and stainless frets. And it's a good guitar, mm -hmm. you know. So um, so th this, this bottom piece is cool to the touch. It's aluminum. Mm-hmm. And this top piece is it's also aluminum. Delrin? Oh no, oh it is? Yeah, okay. It's also, yeah, it's aluminum. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And 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 then it's got every possible combination. It's got one, two, it's got what a dozen, no, eight or ten. I think there's eight. So you can little and uh, that guitar has a coil split. So depending on the pickup that you put in there, you use one of these pins and then it will coil split. Okay. Uh, this one is active, so you use those pins. That one's a single coil, so you this other one and four for a single coil. Like one and four is the only one I've memorized by now. But yeah, so depending on you know how you want to do it, um, you can swap them out. It's really cool. So how does it how do you swap the pickups? You you there's, unscrew the there's four Allen keys on the back. Okay. And then it has normal mounting, like a normal pickup, like the adjustment screw. So this cartridge that that's the top cartridge that screws to the back cartridge has humbucking mounting, telecaster mounting, yep. P90. Okay, okay. Yep, yep. And then you just have a little screwdriver that screws these little terminal screws 
into the thing. It's so okay. cool, man. Yeah. And then check this out. I don't know if you saw the, the, there's a lot of good stuff going on here, but I like this, uh, bar, yep. this bar, uh, ferrule. Yeah. I, I guess ferrule, mm -hmm. a one piece string it's ball end. I'm sorry. A yeah, ferrule. yeah, you got, yeah, you got and it. And what you cannot see in this guitar, okay, is this piece of aluminum. So this this black piece of aluminum right here mm -hmm. goes all the way up in the neck pocket, so it slides in like this, mm -hmm. and then when you bolt the neck on, it goes through the aluminum. It like ties the whole thing together. Oh neat! So there's no flimsy to it at all. Mm -hmm. Like, okay. I mean, it's just yeah. because you would think, oh, maybe it's flimsy because they took this piece of wood out of it. Yeah, it's different. No, it's, it's different than a completely. Movie. Yeah, yes. it's so cool. You know, yeah. I know the tone wood folks are going to be like, yo, the wood's good. But <laughs> it's it's amazing. I love have it. You, have we tapped on this yet? Okay. Oh, I tapped just the heck out of it. Okay, good. Yeah. yeah, it's good. Yeah. It's no, not, it's a really, engineering. it's a neat, neat piece. And I'm, Steve, I'm glad you were here to check it out, too, because I knew you'd, you'd dig it. So. Yeah. yeah, love it. Love it's it. really cool. Yeah, and um, there's I think in our on our channel under in the links and stuff there's where you can go and find out more about it. But it's Somnium guitars. They're made in uh, it's northern Florida. Okay, it's a little town in northern Florida um, that I can't think of the name right now. But yeah, super cool. There you go. Yeah, and they're great guys too. So while we have a few more minutes, let's talk a little bit more about Primetime Guitar mm -hmm. and some of our sponsors here at Texas Toast Guitars. Sitting to my left, your right, are two of my sponsors, Dylan from Dylan Talks Tone and Steve from Maximum Guitar Works. Now, if links in the description below, if you are interested in buying Dylan's pickups, uh, <laughs> thank you, Chris. If you are interested in Thank you, Chris. If you're interested in buying some of Dylan's pickups, you can follow that link and it will take you to your store. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know that. I, I literally did not know this until the other day. You get 10% off if you do that. Mm -hmm. And I get a little taste too. Mm -hmm. And all I have to do is say, hey, go buy Dylan pickups. And it doesn't cost you any extra. Yeah. So that that's a total. No, it doesn't cost I, you any extra. It doesn't, it doesn't cost me any I extra. I pay for all that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. So check those out. And uh, and if you are interested in coming to one of our Build a Classic Telly, Build a Dylan Batfish, uh, one of the Fabric Top classes, they all have the Dylan pickup winding component in them as of right now. Um, if you've signed up for a class already and the old thing on the website said didn't say that, I'm going to give you the option. Okay. Um, but if, if one guy wants to do it and five guys don't want to do it for the, the rest of this year, well then, then we can't do it, but you know, yeah, I mean? there's obviously for the, for the ones that are already on the website, we have to take into consideration. I mean, I got to fly out here. So yeah. if, if you're in a class with a bunch of other guys uh, that does not have this component and it can be worked in, you either have to talk everybody into it or sign up for a different one. Yeah. Um, and of course I would like to thank Steve at Maximum Guitar Works. And if you follow the link to Steve, you will find all of your templates and jigs and guitars and pieces, parts, etc., that are on the website now, but there's lots more stuff coming. Yeah. Coming soon. So um, and uh, and and Steve is very kind and has said that if you sign up for any of our classes, he'll give you 10% off templates and jigs and things. Mm -hmm. And uh, that that's good for when you sign up for the class through a week or two after. I can't remember. Yeah, I think it's a week after. Okay. After, after they use the templates is when they're going to really probably figure out that they need them. That we like these, yeah. Um, and if you sign up for the Great American Guitar Building Contest, Steve will give you a hundred dollars worth of templates. True. Um, so thus making the entry fee basically void. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, so, so that is still a thing that's happening and follow the links in our website to that. Chris and I are going to talk about that more coming up, but that's right around the corner. I'd also like to thank Chris Hill from Odyssey Beer Works, the great American beer works. And he is here. He's brought us a bunch of beer. And, um, uh, if you are in the Arvada area and who knows, 
you never know who you're going to see at Odyssey Beer Works, the great American beer work. Who did you see there the other night? Hey. Uh, that one guy with the stuff. Richie Samboro? Richie Samboro. No, that was at the Pep Boys. Oh. I saw Richie Samboro. <laughs> uh, I'd also like to thank Ike and the gang at Flipside Music, the great American guitar store. Remember, every Thursday at 4 p.m. Mountain Time, Ike and the gang are going to be kicking it off with uh, Q&A, gear demos, whatever it is that you're interested in seeing, please check out Ike and the guys. Um, this Thursday guitar thing is really a cool deal, mm -hmm. and I hope that you guys like it as much as I do. And if you don't like it as much as I do, I don't really care, actually. I, I, I love it. I'm having a good time. It sort of reminds me of that book that I got the other day. It's about uh, anti-gravity. It's impossible to put the thing down. So, um, yeah. So I would also like to thank John and Cheryl at Bitterroot Guitars. Steve, you've been working with uh, some of the, the trust rods from Bitterroot Guitars as well. Have you not? I put them in. Uh, in well, your... can we can we see one of the necks that we that you used? Well, it's well. The, the, how about yeah? yeah. That's, so that's the neck that. So this is so this is a neck that Steve built with a truss rod from Bitterroot. See, this is this is uh, everything is working out well. Everybody is collaborating and, and making something cool. The fanned out taper that's needed for that that's done inside of your necks for your classes. yeah. So work, yeah, worked cool out, stuff. Worked out really well. Absolutely, um, and uh, oh. Dan and Calvin at Tonewood Experts. Guys, if you come to any of our workshops or if you buy a guitar from us, all of the wood comes from Dan and Calvin at Tonewood Experts. In fact, I just got a bunch of boxes of mahogany for that. our yeah. Build a Classic Set Neck workshop that is uh, right around the corner. And it's super cool Honduran mahogany. And um, yeah, Paul, you should just come to that. Just make a plan to come to that. Cool. Um, is there anybody? Am, am I missing someone? One, one more thing before yeah, we yeah, go. Yeah. Uh, Whoa, what do we got here? Steve was also awesome. And apparently these are his favoritest in the whole wide world guitar polishing club. Because they say maximum guitar? No, he said they're actually amazing. Okay. Yeah. So they're they're kind of like a, a suede microfiber. They're the, the softest I could find. And I looked for them. Cool. A lot. Okay. And so... They're available on the website. You know, it's a low dollar item. And honestly, it's so if you get some templates, just throw one. I mean, just you throw just, one in the cart. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Throw one throw in the cart. You're going to want it. Yeah. Yeah. So, and, and, uh, and also, if they if they just miss the threshold for free shipping, ah, throw one in the yeah, cart. See, it's a good idea to have some of that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. So, but, so, ahead, Steve, so Steve, tell me what the threshold is for free shipping. It's, you know? it's a 99 up right now. All right. So if you're at, if you're at 80 or no, if you're at 95, you need to toss one of those in the cart. Exactly. Okay, cool. But you have a whole bunch right there. What are those for? Well, this is since this is the first night of Thursday. Oh, cool. Guitar night. And you have people here. I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Everybody Steve's, gets a claw. Steve's throwing out stuff. Everybody gets a claw. You get a claw. And you get a claw. You get a claw. Get a claw. You get a claw. Get a claw. No one's caught him yet. You get a claw. <laughs> All right. Okay. Oops. Watch it. Duck. Hey, no one can get. I can't. They, they were going fast and furious. <laughs> oh, there we go. Everybody gets a claw. Oh, bless awesome. you, Steve. That's very, very cool. <laughs> you know, it's nice to. Uh, it, it, it's. It pays to come out when Steve is going to be here. That's just <laughs> that all I can say. for sure. So, guys, we are about going to uh, uh, get out of here, and we are going to uh, make way for Dylan and Dylan Talks Tone. His live stream is about to begin, and uh, I don't know who's going to be on that, but um, but somebody is. It might just be Chris Besker, the one, the only, Finnish master, Chris nope. Besker. Nope. And he's saying, yeah, I want to do that. Nope. So, yeah, <laughs> outstanding. Awesome. So, uh, so, guys, thanks for joining us. We look forward to seeing you next Thursday. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, shit like that. Um, we will see you tomorrow for a very cool reveal. We've got uh, half a dozen guitars that the guys have been making and doing an excellent job with. They're really neat. They're very, very cool. They're excellent. So, all right, gang. So uh, thanks for watching. We will see you uh, in a little bit, just in a few moments. And uh, so check out Dylan Talks Tone. We will be there with him. We will be hanging out. We'll be goofing off. It's going to be a lot of fun. So uh, I, can't, I can't thank everybody enough. Dylan, Steve, everybody in the studio audience, all of you watching at home, it was great to have everybody here. 
Thanks for hanging out with us for Primetime Guitar uh, Thursday night. We will see you guys next time. Nice. Cool, man.